Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a first impression. Before I begin, please excuse my scarf. My hair, I just gelled down up my hair into a bun so it's drying. Just to make sure it lays flat. So, but anyways, I'm doing my first impression on the new Laura Mercier uh, Medium Deep Translucent Powder. And I received this complimentary from Influencer and Laura Mercier. Yay, so I got it for free. This is very exciting. I've never tried any of her powders. Everybody raves about how much the, how awesome the translucent powder was and now that they came out with a shade in medium deep. So in my box box, it came with the powder and the little... All right, so some people use the translucent powder to do the under eye. Um, I feel like I'm gonna use this for my whole face because I feel like it matches my skin tone better and it would just be like harsh it'll just give me an even skin tone if i use it underneath my eye so i'm going to use this to set my full face and it says that it's supposed to give you a matte finish that lasts pretty much all day long so i'm going to do my first impression and test this all right so i mix the um l'oreal true match foundation and golden beige and the covergirl clean foundation in the shade 360 i mix these two together totally different foundations but i'm trying to use them up so i mix them together i put the dark the darker on the outside and the l'oreal in my inner but yeah and i know that they do make me oily so i know i normally get oily within a few hours so i'm going to test and see if this um powder does the trick in making me stay matte for a little bit longer or all day and i'm going to use a little sponge that it came with it's very soft i almost don't want to use it it feels like carpets and i love this packaging and while i'm waiting for the powder to come through um i'll leave a link down below of where you can purchase the powder um and the regular price is 38 dollars on the laura mercier uh, website and i believe it's like a little bit more on the sephora website so you can get it from laura mercier online or you can buy it from sephora and this is the shade so it looks kind of dark but it says it's supposed to match multiple skin tones, so we shall see. I don't know, and it says it gives you um, a very light finish. So if you wanted to use this alone, it will give you a light coverage. So hopefully, it doesn't make me look super dark because it is kind of dark, but I'm just gonna set my face with this. And I love it so far. I love the finish. I can see right away that it definitely gives me a matte finish. So that's, oops, that's awesome. Do y'all see how it's going on? Let me zoom in a little bit. It goes on very pretty. Now it is giving me a little bit of coverage. It is a little dark, but I think it's cute. Nothing that I would set my under eye with, definitely not. If you wanted to set your under eye, I would definitely use the trans, the white translucent powder. Just because I feel like this would be, if you're my skin tone, it will be like a little bit too dark. But if you're my skin tone or darker, I would definitely use this as an under eye thing. But you see, it kind of made me look a little bit dark, but I feel like it does match my skin a little bit. So... Yeah, my face, OMG, it feels very, it feels matte and it feels very smooth. I absolutely love how this powder feels. I would even wear this powder alone, like for work during the week. It's just beautiful. It has a beautiful finish. I look matte. So I'm going to test this out and see how long it lasts throughout the day. And as always, I will check in back with you. I love this actually a lot. Mm, okay and you know I would pay $38 for this so this is beautiful so right now what time is it right now it's 319 so I'm going to a cookout well first I'm gonna go back and do the rest of my makeup and see how my makeup applies on top of it I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous but I just want you guys to see my finished look and then I'll be back all right <clears throat> so I finished the rest of my makeup and y'all I just this powder is so gorgeous. 
my foundation was looking a little off before I applied my powder and it definitely even out my foundation and gives me like a skin tone that matches my face a lot better so if you are my skin tone and you want an all over like light powder to wear every day or something to set your foundation with I definitely recommend the Laura Mercier translucent medium deep powder because it matches my skin perfectly in my opinion y'all let me know what y'all think down below but I absolutely love this it looks smooth matte it doesn't look cakey or anything like it just looks gorgeous I'm in love so I'm gonna go on with my first impression and I don't have my phone but last time I checked it was 319 so I will be back at the end of the day and I'll if you guys have any questions leave them down below and I'll see y'all later today hello my loves I'm back so I didn't get a chance to check in because you know I was busy grubbing and fellowshipping with people but um right now it is 9 21 and this is my face I haven't blotted it I haven't reapplied any powder or anything and as you guys can see when I turn a little bit I am starting to get a little oily Right here but let's remember I've had this foundation and this powder on for eight hours from the time that I first started recording this first impression because I came in at 1 15 now it's 9 15 so that was eight hours and this is my face I think it looks beautiful it literally was matte all day long up until probably like eight o'clock I felt my face started getting a little oily and y'all like I'm so impressed like this legit keeps you matte all day long so I definitely would recommend you using this for an all over setting powder you know it lasts your whole work day or school day whatever it may be you can wear this alone um, I definitely think it's worth the $38 that it costs it's just amazing so I paid $38 for a highlighter I definitely would definitely pay $38 for a finishing powder I mean, I love it. The packaging is cute. Um, <clears throat> it's easy. It is a little messy, but hey, that's most loose powders. But I, I love it. It matches my skin perfectly. It um, even made my foundation look better because my foundation wasn't 100% my skin tone. And this is, so if you are my skin complexion and you're looking for an all-over setting powder or even like a light powder to even out your skin tone, I would definitely recommend this. I'm in love. Like, I have nothing bad to say about this. The fact that it lasts this long, I have not tried a powder that la keeps me mad for this long. So it's been eight hours and this is all the oiliness and it looks good to me. You know, it's not like super oily at all. And my forehead is still not oily. That's, it's bad when my forehead gets oily, but this part of my face was the first to get oily or whatever. And that's a highlight, so yes that is it um you if you guys have tried this let me know i never tried the original formula so i can't uh compare the two to see if they're the same but i can imagine that they are because everybody loves the translucent powder so i mean of course i love this i'm just excited about this and the fact that it was for free hey but um, i'll leave a link down below if you guys are wanting to purchase this powder or look up more information on it i'll leave that link down below thank you all so much for watching first impressions let me know of any drugstore products or even any high-end products you would like me to do a first impression review on i love you guys don't forget to subscribe yeah, don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye